Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with the two o'clock uh, stats update. The cone, we won't get a new advisory on the future track until five. That happens every six hours, unless they issue a special advisory for some unknown reason. But uh, here's what's going on right now. 60 mile an hour winds moving to the northwest at 20. The center is estimated to be located right over the eastern part of the Dominican Republic right there. And the future track shows that it's gonna keep moving to the northwest. This is Puerto Rico, right out from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico now on the back side of the circulation here, but really getting raked right now. Heavy showers, thunderstorms, flash flooding, strong winds, really, really messy on that side of the storm center. Here's the storm center over here. It's kind of out of the radar range, but you can see it is just a mess with tropical storm conditions extending almost through the Virgin Islands even at this hour. So here are our latest warnings, tropical storm warnings for much of the coastline there, tropical storm warnings up into the central Bahamas, tropical storm watches the northwest Bahamas. I think at five tonight, We'll see tropical storm watches go up for a portion of South Florida because we're getting in that 48 hour window of possibly seeing tropical storm conditions here in South Florida. Remember, a watch means it's possible a warning means it's expected. So watch, just a possibility, a warning we're expecting. So these yellow areas here in the warning. Now the other yellow area we've been talking about it's this right here, the tropical storm conditions, and we project this along with the forecast cone. The cone itself, that's where the center, just the center point, is expected to say the cone, or this uh, yellow area here, that's where the storm conditions are, the tropical storm conditions, and they extend, of course, well, well away from the center, especially to the north and to the east of the center located right there. So let's go forward into time here. And here we are tonight at 8 p.m. and almost across Hispaniola here. And then here we are Friday morning. So this area here from tonight through tomorrow morning, this is going to be a key area where we're watching. How has the storm reacted to crossing the terrain, the higher terrain of Hispaniola? Has it been disrupted? Is the circulation intact? Is the core intact? It's a pretty big system. So even though there may be some disruption, it's not going to be a storm killer in terms of breaking the storm up so that it dissipates. Uh, that's probably off the table. So Friday, uh, 8 a.m., there we are Friday, 8 p.m., and then here we are Saturday morning. There we are in South Florida. There is the forecast center. The cone, of course, getting bigger because of the uncertainty of where the center is expected to be, but you can see a big swath of tropical storm conditions now basically just offshore from South Florida. And also, if you look carefully here, there's a little bit of orange showing up in here. This is a, the bare minimum, we call it the 10% threshold for hurricane conditions. Right out in this area here near Andros Island, it does start to show up. We'll watch this carefully because uh, we wanna keep track of where those hurricane conditions are. Right now in the forecast, based on this advisory, they are well offshore. And then as we go forward into time, there Saturday evening. The coastal areas, based on this advisory, are in tropical storm conditions here. And this is one of these cases where, you know, we usually talk about in years past, if the cone shifts to the left, then we're more in it. Well, this, if the cone shifts, if the track shifts, then also this whole yellow area of tropical storm conditions also shift. This is really a close call right now. Too close to call on exactly what we're gonna see here. It's kind of a, a almost a split now that if any, any deviation to the left would give us tropical storm conditions, deviation to the right, and it's a cloudy, breezy, maybe windy day with some showers. So unfortunately, it is going to be kind of that, that sharp of a line on this side of the storm. And then here we are Sunday morning, and then after that, it's on to the north. And the folks from Georgia through the Carolinas obviously are watching it very, very closely, but they're in that four to five day time frame. Again, our new threat cone here, that's it, that yellow area here, that's where the threat for tropical storm force conditions exist. And of course, the outlined white cone there, that's where the center is expected to stay about 67% of the time. Let's take a quick look at the models, and uh, we've got the Euro here. Now, we don't get the Euro in one of those track lines. The European, a very reliable model uh, there. We call it the Euro for short. Uh, then the European Community Weather Forecast model. Um, but there's the center forecast for 4 a.m. on the Euro, and it's in line with all the other models. Going forward here, here we are Saturday at noon. So this is noon Saturday, probably the closest approach to South Florida. It's right there with all the other models. If this trend holds on successive model runs, we will start to feel a little better about the potential outcome. Too early to tell, the next model runs may shift back to the west, but certainly something we're gonna be watching.
After that, it is on up to the north. So what are we doing now? Really no changes to our preparations right now. We're preparing for a tropical storm, which means there could be some power outages. I saw some folks uh, gas, in gas containers this morning at a gas station. Uh, my thinking on that is if you have a generator and you have frequent power outages from weather conditions, it might not be a bad idea to get gas. I wouldn't line up and, and top off the tanks right now and fill everything up because I don't think this is going to be that kind of storm. I think this is, may, could potentially be a secure things that could blow around lawn furniture patio furniture anything like that and the shutters I still don't think it's a shutter event we probably will have a better idea tomorrow morning but it's not a bad idea ever to check your shutters during hurricane season of course we'll keep you up to date throughout throughout the afternoon and have the new advisory and the new forecast track today at 5 on CBS 4 news we'll see you then